Within the Elite PI Transfer Control Center, the acts of sending content from your PC to your elevator screens are called tasks. There are multiple kinds of tasks that you can use with the Elite PI Transfer Control Center, from sending graphics updates, to updating the date and time, or from sending Elite Plus subscription data to your screens. We will learn how to do these and more in this tutorial. First, let's create a task to update the screens with a new design. From within the Elite PI Transfer Control Center, click on the small green circle icon in the top left. This is the Add Task button. In this window, we will want to first name the task. We will be creating a Design Update task for the first example, so we will call this Design Update. Under Type, select Collection Update. Here you can change the task color, but for now, we will leave it as is. This is where you will want to locate the design file from the Elite PI Designer that you saved on your computer. Click on the green arrow that says Displays. In this screen, you will want to select the screens that you want to send the new design update to. If the selected car is green, then it will receive the update. If it is blue, then it will not. If you are ready to send the design to the screens, then click Create and Run. If you just want to create the task, but not send it to the screens, then just click Create. I am going to select Create and Run and send this design to the screens. You will then go back to the main screen to see the task listed, and you will see the elevator screens updating. If the elevator screen name turns green, then it was a successful update. But if they turn red, then the update has failed. If you are getting a failed update consistently, then you will need to contact CE Electronics Customer Support for assistance at tech at ceelectronics.com. Now that the design update task has been created, all that you need to do is edit your design in the Elite PI Designer and click Save. The Transfer Control Center program will notice that there was a change made to your design and will alert you with this small warning symbol. Click on the warning symbol and then click on the play button to send the new design to your selected screens. Note that it is recommended that you keep a backup of your design and design changes on a shared folder just in the event that something ever happens to this PC. Sometimes you may notice that your Elite PI screens may be displaying incorrect date or time. Let's create a scheduled time update task that will keep that from happening. Again, click on the green circle icon this time we will call this task Time Update. Under Type, select Maintenance Task. Again, you can change the color to whatever you like, or just leave it as is. In this last drop-down, select Update Time. Click the Displays button. Select the displays that you want to update. Note that you can click the bubble that the individual cars are within, and that will select or deselect all of them. Now for updating the time, you will want to schedule the task to run automatically, so click on Schedule. At the top, click Reoccurring. Now you can set the time to be updated weekly on a specific day or daily. I'm going to select weekly for every Monday. For the time, we recommend that you schedule this not during peak elevator traffic hours, so I'm going to set this to 5 a.m. Now you can select Create and Run, and the task will be created, and all of the screens will have the time and date updated. Note that this PC must be on and the Elite PI Transfer Control Center must be running in order for any scheduled tasks to be sent to the screens. If this PC is off at the time of the scheduled tasks, then the task will not run. Lastly, I'm going to go over creating a task that will send Elite Plus data to your screens. Elite Plus is a subscription service that will display news, stock information, and current weather on your elevator screens. If you do not yet have Elite Plus and are interested, you can contact our sales department for more information at sales at ceelectronics.com. As always, click on the green circle icon. For name, we will call this Elite Plus. For type, select Live Data. Again, you can change the color if you want. For collection, you can leave this blank. For customer ID, you will need to request this once you have completed the Elite Plus service agreement. 
you will be sent a 30 digit code and you will need to make sure that you copy and paste this exactly as it was sent to you. Down below, click on the drop down list and you will be presented with three different options, news, stocks, and weather. Depending on what you have in your design, you will need to select the correct option. Access to the weather information is free and does not require a paid subscription. So let's say you just are setting up weather. Select weather, then click add. In the section labeled station, type local. In the section labeled display name, type local weather. If you are just setting up weather, then you would continue on to select your displays and then create and run the task. However, let's say that you are paying for the entire Elite Plus subscription plan with news and stocks. From the drop down list, select stock and then click add. And again, from the drop down list, select news and then click add. Here you'll have the option of different news categories to choose from. US news, world news, political news, business news, and top stories, which is a collection of all of the other four categories. When you are done, click displays. Select the displays and then click create and run. The Elite Plus task will continuously retrieve information from our servers every five minutes. Please note that you will need to have the Elite PI Transfer Control Center open and running in order for the Elite Plus task to send live data to your screens. Now you are all set to transfer data and content to your screens. If you have any issues at all, please contact CE Electronics Customer Support at tech at ceelectronics.com.